Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today we are going to have listening exercises. Chokai no renshu desu. So you listen to a conversation between Miss A and Miss B. Get it? Okay. So first you listen to them speak at normal speed without any subtitles and then you can listen to them speak more slowly with subtitles and it will really help you improve your vocabulary and listening skills and don't worry if you don't understand too much don't get discouraged it's completely normal it's good to keep listening to the same dialogue so after i explain the grammar try listening to the same dialogue again and hopefully you will understand more and more gradually but just don't worry if you don't understand too much so before you listen to the dialogue i want you to show this month's books mazu kongetsu no books wo shoukai sasete kudasai nihongo takusan hanasu no de warm up ni naru to omoimasu ja ja n aki no shoukaku sai まず、ほうじ茶オーレを入れてきます。ピカチュウのマグカップで飲みます。美味しいです。うんうんうん。ほうじ茶は本当に心が温まるお茶です。体も心も温まるお茶だと思います。お茶を飲みながら、ボックス
眠そうだね。うん。昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。コーヒーでも飲む入れるよ。気が利く。ありがとう。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。じゃあコーヒー飲んでから15分ぐらい寝てみるね。起こしてくれる ?15 分後。ミサ、起きて。えあと一時間寝させて。じゃあ私一人でおやつ食べちゃうね。もう起きた。おやつ抜きっていう脅しの方がコーヒーより効果的だったな。眠そうだね。うん。昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。コーヒーでも飲む入れるよ。気が利く。ありがとう。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。じゃあ、コーヒー飲んでから15分ぐらい寝てみる。起こしてくれる15分後、ミサ、起きて。え、あと1時間寝させて。じゃあ私、一人でおやつ食べちゃうね。もう起きた。おやつ抜きっていう脅しの方が、コーヒーより、効果的だったな。どうでしたか ?How did it go?Okay, now we are going to take a look at what Miss A and Miss B were talking about.Okay, so Miss A said, 眠そうだね。眠そうだね。So, 眠い means sleepy. 例えば、昨日全然寝られなかったから、眠い。So if you are an English speaker, you might feel like it's more natural to say I'm tired rather than I'm sleepy. But Japanese people say this nemui a lot. So we do also say tsukareta to mean I'm tired. Tsukareta. But when we're actually like feeling like we're gonna fall asleep, we say nemui, nemui. You might also hear nechai so. I might doze off. I might fall asleep. 寝ちゃいそう。そう。眠そう。this so can mean quite a few things, but it can mean to seem, to look. So, 眠い is an e adjective, so you get rid of the last e and put so. And that means you look, you seem. So, 眠そうだね means you seem sleepy, you seem tired. I have a lesson on that, so check it out. And then Miss B said, うん。昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。Try repeating after me. うん。昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。うん。Yeah. 昨日 yesterday, 夜遅くまで until late at night. Just remember this phrase. 夜遅くまで Repeat after me. I'm checking you. 夜遅くまで勉強する。To study. 勉強している。I'm studying right now. 勉強していた。I was studying. And we get rid of this e in front of ta to sound more informal, casual. So, してた。勉強してた。んだ。This んだ。is used to explain why I look tired, why Miss B is looking tired. Again, I have a lesson on this, so check it out. It's called the explanatory particle. 昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。And then Miss A said, コーヒーでも飲む It's such a great line to remember as well. コーヒー、coffee. でも This demo doesn't mean but. Again, I have a lesson on demo, so check it out. But this one can mean or something, coffee or something. 
we often say kohi demo do ocha demo do to invite somebody for a coffee. So this nome literally means will you drink? But you can use this sentence kohi demo nome to mean do you want a cup of coffee or something else? Here we wouldn't say kohi demo nomi tai. Yes, nomi tai means want to drink. But when you want to ask somebody like do you fancy a cup of tea? Like we would say ocha demo nomu or ocha demo nomanai. So ocha demo nomanai that's like let's have a cup of tea. Like it sounds like I want to like the speaker wants to drink as well. Whereas ocha demo nomu is like offering a cup of tea. If there is a guest in your house, you'd say ocha demo nomu informally. Ocha demo nomi ka? Formally. Also, Misei said, Ireru yo? Okay, so this might be a bit surprising. When you want to say to make a cup of tea, to make coffee, to make tea, we use this verb ireru, which means to put in. You could say, Kagi o kaban ni ireru, or Kagi o kaban no naka ni ireru. So do not say, Kohi o tsukuru. Ocha o tsukuru. It doesn't sound natural at all. We say ocha o ireru, kohi o ireru. Okay. So again, this is a great phrase to remember. Kohi demo nomu ireru yo. Would you like a cup of tea? I'll make you one. And then Miss B said, Kiga kiku, arigato. Kiga kiku. This is such an important word, but not exactly needed for like. The JLPT and five or anything. The kiga kiku hito. This is what every Japanese person loves. Kiga kiku could be translated like thoughtful or attentive. So someone who pays attention to everything. And if somebody sees a person in need, and for example, I'm doing this, I'm casually doing it. But if somebody sees it, they could either ignore or offer a massage or like offer some, I don't know, tablets, right? And like that kind of person is kiga kiku hito. I didn't say anything like, oh, I want something, like, can you give me a massage? But that person saw me doing it and all of the offers help. So that's kiga kiku hito. And Japanese people love kiga kiku hito. And kiga kiku ne? is such a good compliment because everyone loves that kind of person. So everyone wants to be kiga kiku hito. Kiga kiku hito ni naritai desu. So if somebody is being nice to you, this is another good compliment. It's not like saying yasashi, which is quite an easy word, right? Kiga kiku, like suddenly you sound like a native speaker. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and then Miss A said, 15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすす
シュタインズゲートが好きなら僕だけがいない街もおすすめだよ。Let me speak said. じゃあ、then. コーヒー飲んでから15分ぐらい寝てみるね。So, コーヒーを飲む to drink coffee, right? 飲んでから。So, the テフォン plus から means after doing something. So, 飲んでから means after drinking coffee. So, コーヒー飲んでから15分寝てみる。This te mire, again, I have a lesson on this, but it means to try doing something. So, I will try having a nap. I will try taking a nap for about 15 minutes after drinking the coffee. So, コーヒーを飲んでから15分ぐらい寝てみるね。So, when you want to say after, you can also use あと And you could say コーヒーを飲んだあと15分ぐらい寝てみるね。But this te kara is used when you want to say, I'll do this first, then this. So when you want to show the order of something, like the order of things you will do, you usually use this te kara. 15分後 15 minutes later, Misa says, Misa, 起きて Wake up, Misa. And Miss B says, eh,、yeah, uh, あと15分寝させて。あと、coming after, right? But if you say あと and then number or counter, it means more. Like, あと一人 means one more person. Like, you can say あと一人必要です。We need one more person. Or あと一回やらせて。Let me do it one more time. You can say, あと一回だけやらせて Let me do it just one more time. あと一時間 It's like, just one more hour. So, you know, if you're playing a game and your mom is like, stop playing. You can say, あ、あと五分、あと五分 <laughs> Five more minutes, mom! That basically thumbs up my childhood. <laughs> あと一時間寝させて So this させる。It's a difficult grammar point, I know. This ねさせる。can mean to force somebody to sleep or to let somebody sleep. So the speaker has the control over somebody's action. Anyway, again, I have a lesson on this, so check it out. But if you say させて、then that means let me do something. So いかせて。means let me go, as in let me go to a place like 日本に行かせて means let me go to Japan.、Uh, but if you mean like let go of me, then you say 話して寝させて means let me sleep. And then Miss A says, じゃあ私一人でおやつ食べちゃうね Then I'm gonna eat the snacks by myself. 一人で means on one's own or by oneself or alone. ひとり means one person. So, ひとりで means alone. So, ひとりで日本に行った。I went to Japan alone on my own. おやつ means snacks. お菓子 can mean candy or snacks. So, you could say チョコはお菓子です。ポテチはお菓子です。So, it's just what we call、like、snacks and candy, like generally. Whilst おやつ is quite specifically like between meals, snacks. So you could say おやつにバナナを食べる I will eat a banana as a snack. So it's just something you eat in between meals. We have a saying, sanji no おやつ So Japanese kids generally eat snacks at 3 pm. When I was a kid, I loved sanji no おやつ more than anything. Like I just wanted to eat chocolate and like. <laughs> Crisps <laughs>、uh, at 3 pm. So every Japanese kid enjoys the sanji no oyatsu. It's like afternoon tea. And then, tabe chau ne. Again, I have a list on this chau. But chau usually means a、uh, speaker regrets something after doing something, or it can mean unintentionally. So, if you break something unintentionally, you say, ah, go a s h a t a Oops, I broke it. So, you said something, although you shouldn't have, 
and now you regret it, you can say, ah, itchatta. Like, oops, I said it. <laughs> but basically, whenever you want to say oops, you can say chatta in the past tense. But if you say this chao yo, then that means I'm gonna do this and I know you won't like it. For example, your son is a hikikomori and he is playing video games with curtains closed and the, your mom and you have to you know open the curtain and but you know your son is not gonna like it. You can say, ah, curtain, get out yo. I'm gonna open the curtains. I know you won't like it, but I will, okay? Curtain, get out yo. So, tabechao yo is like a threat. I know you won't like it, but I'm gonna eat them. So, Miss B is like, ah, mo okita. Now, now I'm awake, I'm up. <laughs> and then Miss A says, Oyatsu nuki te yu odoshi no ho ga kohi yori kouka teki datta na. So this nuki comes from the verb nuku, which can mean to pull out, to, to yank. Like it can also mean to twist, to pluck out, like hair, like keo nuku. Anyway, if you say something nuki, then that means without something. So when you want to order a burger without pickles, for example, you say pickles nuki de. Or pickles nuki de onegaishimasu, if you want to be super polite, but I usually just say pickles nuki de when I'm ordering. Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I hated pickles. Uh, now I can eat pickles. But, uh, I used to always order a burger without pickles, so I said pickles nuki de. Okay, so like cheese burger pickles nuki de. That's it. Like that's how natives would speak. So oyatsu nuki. That's uh, what a lot of Japanese parents say when the kids are being naughty. Oyatsu nuki, like no snacks for you. And oyatsu nuki te yu odoshi. Odoshi means threat. The verb is odosu, someone o odosu. And if you were threatened, you can say odosareta. Odosareta. There is another word, kyohaku. Kyohaku. This is the word that you might hear in news. Kyohaku. And kyohaku can also turn into a verb kyohaku suru. So, yogi sha wa higai sha o kyohaku shita. You can also say, yogi sha wa higai sha o odoshimashita. Kane o yokose to odoshimashita. Kane o yokose is how you wanna say, give me mine, like really in a rough way. <laughs> if you wanna be cute, if you have a sugar daddy, <laughs> you say, Okane chodai! <laughs> Give me money! In a cute way. But if you want to be a criminal, you say, Kane yokose! Don't even put the o in front of kane. What, what am I teaching? <laughs> anyway, odoshi is threat, right? This, and this te yu is describing what the threat was. So when you want to say a threat that. Da -da 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 -da, or a speech, you always use this te yu. So, oyatsu nuki te yu odoshi. Formally, you say to yu. And, no ho ga kohi yori kouka teki datta. This is comparison. You say, a no ho ga b yori da 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 da. That means, a is more da 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 than b. Pikachu no ho ga raichu yori kawaii. Pikachu is cuter than Raichu. Ocha no ho ga kohi yori suki desu. I prefer tea to coffee. So kohi yori more than coffee. Alright, so compared with coffee, compared to coffee, uh, the threat that there will be no snacks was more kokateki effective. If you play Pokemon in Japanese, if you want to say very effective, you say kouka batsugun da. <laughs> kouka teki datta was effective. Na at the end means like you're talking to yourself. So, ha, huh, so the threat was more effective than coffee. <laughs> okay, so now you can listen to the same dialogue, this time with both Japanese and English subtitles. Dozo! Nemuso da ne! うん。昨日夜遅くまで勉強してたんだ。コーヒーでも飲む? 
。気が利く。ありがとう。15分ぐらいの昼寝もおすすめだよ。じゃあ、コーヒー飲んでから15分ぐらい寝てみるね。起こしてくれる ?15 分後。ミサ、起きて。えあと1時間寝させて。じゃあ、私一人でおやつ食べちゃうね。もう起きた。おやつ抜きっていう脅しの方がコーヒーより効果的だったな。Alright, so that's it for today. But keep listening to this same dialogue over and over. And I promise you this will really help your listening skills. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out Bokusu. They're really amazing. I wouldn't recommend this company to you if I didn't like them. Like, I really genuinely am looking forward to. Like receiving bokkuzu every month, especially because I don't live in Japan anymore. So it's really nice to receive Japanese snacks every month. Bokkuzu is really nice to receive Japanese snacks every month. And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, and I will be reviewing some of those snacks on stories. So follow me and check my stories. Okay, じゃあまたね Bye bye.